Hello everyone, welcome to Agrabah. Professor Toybox here with a special preview of my new series that begins next week. This is a project I've been working on for nearly two years. I really wanted an Aladdin playset, but since the developers at Disney Infinity never made one, I decided to build my own. And it wasn't easy. My initial idea was to try to tell the story from the original Aladdin movie, but without a functioning text creator, it was just too frustrating. I wasn't satisfied with it at all, so I scrapped that idea and decided to tell my own story instead. Over the last six months, I've been revising and refining my creation, even reworking entire portions of it, until I've finally managed to create a toy box adventure that I'm happy with. This project consists of five separate toy boxes, each with its own setting and theme. The city and palace grounds, the palace dungeon, the desert, the cave of wonders, and the palace interior. My story begins in Agrabah. I've done my best to try to recreate many of the familiar locations from the movie, including the marketplace, streets, and palace grounds. In the coming weeks, I'll show you how to build all of these areas, which you can then explore. Besides the main quest, there are several side quests, a horse race, and lots of hidden chests and sidekick doors to discover in this first toy box, so there's plenty to do. Completing the first stage of the main quest unlocks the second toy box, the Palace Dungeons. This area is based on alpha video footage of the unreleased Disney Infinity 4.0 Kingdoms project that was shared last year. In that footage, we see a palace dungeon filled with buttons that trigger various traps. The player can use the traps to deal with patrolling guards instead of battling them head-on. I've been able to recreate much of that same gameplay in the 3.0 toy box, as well as several of the dungeon areas that were shown in the video, and I can tell you that it's a lot of fun. Finishing the dungeon unlocks the vast desert region, which is the third toy box in my story. The desert is mostly empty terrain, but there are a few things to do and plenty of places to explore. Because it's mostly terrain, I wanted to see how large a toy box I could create on my Wii U, and I wasn't disappointed. It's a huge area. The goal of this toy box is to find the Cave of Wonders, which is the fourth toy box in my game. The gameplay here focuses on platforming and puzzle solving. The player has to navigate several mazes, including a large rail slide system, while at the same time avoiding the forbidden gems. Picking up any treasure item results in instant death and forces you to start over at the cave entrance. After you complete the Cave of Wonders, you can finally enter the palace, where you'll face Jafar and his guards in a final showdown. The boss battle consists of several different stages, which should provide a fun and interesting conclusion to the game. Next week, I'm going to play through the first toy box, and then I'll start showing you how to build this adventure for yourself. I know some of you don't have the time or desire to build something this big, but even so, I encourage you to watch this series anyway. First, I'm doing some things in these toy boxes I've never done before, so you may get some new ideas for things to try in your own toy boxes. Second, many of you have been asking for tutorials on some of the more advanced features, like the money manager, the loot drop manager, the satellite receiver, and the interior toy box, and I'll be using all of these toys in this series. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this special preview of my new Aladdin adventure. I'm excited to finally be able to show it off, and this introductory video gave me the opportunity to share some of the history behind it without bogging down the playthrough with these details. If you're excited about my new series and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet or signed up on my blog, I encourage you to do so. That way you won't miss a single episode. And thank you to all of my subscribers and followers for your comments and support. It's great to see so many people who still love Disney Infinity. I'll be back next week with the playthrough of the first toy box in my Aladdin adventure and the first build video for Agrabah. See you then.